From health to hostilities, Labour is embroiled in yet another trans row, after which Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting admitted he had been wrong to say that trans women are women. Speaking on The Sun's politics show, never mind the ballots, Streeting said LGBT rights group Stonewall, where he used to work, by the way, had got it wrong with its slogan. If you'd asked me a few years ago uh, on this topic, I would have said trans men are men, trans women are women, some people are trans, get over it, let's move on, this is, this is all blown out of proportion. And now I sort of sit and reflect and think, actually, there are lots of complexities Isn't that the problem, that leading today? figures like yourself, and I'm not just singling you out, but leading figures like yourself were saying, get over it, no, when people, were trying, to, like, when people right. were trying to raise the facts. So you regret, no, I think you have regret. I absolutely take the criticism on the chin. And um, at the same time, I also think that there's been some absolutely ugly rhetoric directed towards trans people who are at the wrong end of all of the statistics on hate crime, mm. on self-harm, suicide, mental ill health. So I think we've co got a collective responsibility to be open to this debate and discussion and to do so in the sort of thoughtful, careful and sensitive way that Dr Cass has. Hopefully a, deba hope a, debate, a debate that we, we should have to. had perhaps a yeah. decade ago. Streeting's change of stance follows his comments welcoming the Cass review into NHS transgender care, which, is which has infuriated members of the Labour Party who had been shunned for their criticisms of gender ideology. Labour MP Rosie Duffield, who was investigated by the party just last year for campaigning against gender ideology, pointed out that the women who exposed the scandal had been pushed aside by the leadership. Meanwhile, former Labour Party member Julie Bindell has demanded an apology from Streeting for failing to support her gender critical views when he was president of the National Union of Students, labelling him a cowardly convert of the Cass Review. Streeting's correct that the trans community are subjected to horrible um, horrible verbal attacks, physical attacks. But so, are, so have been people like J.K. Rowling who are speak, have been speaking out. So has uh, Graeme Linehan. Lots of people who were speaking out previously and were correct have been called uh, transphobic. They've had their houses attacked. They get eggs in the streets. They can't walk down the street by themselves without someone shouting at them. It's been toxic on both sides. I don't think it's wrong for him to come out and say he's changed his mind, he's got new information, and he's changed his mind. As a politician, I'd rather my politicians come out and say, yeah, I was wrong, I think that's good. But actually, I think we've got to delve deeper here because there are a lot of people who say that they've been marginalised in the same way that, you know, J.K. Rowling has said that and saying, you know, now, you know, this cash report proves that I was right. No, it doesn't. What it proves is that when it comes to dealing with children and the process of transition, we have possibly got it wrong and we need to look at this much more carefully in terms of the decisions that are being taken, who is involved in that decision and at what time is the right decision to take it, as opposed to this whole ridiculous conversation about whether or not somebody is called a man or a woman and what facilities they can use. They're very, very separate issues and until or unless people understand that you've got to untangle this and all the people jumping on that bandwagon saying, this proves I was right, this report proves that I've been marginalised. No, look at what you said. If what you've said was, we've got to be really careful how we look after children, whether people or when the right time to transition is, fine. If you were basically being transphobic and saying that nobody can change their sex, then you're still wrong. Nobody but, can change their sex. But, but I think we've been no on a journey. We've been on a journey. Everybody has been on a journey. It's not as though... Trans children, you know, tra young people, young children wanting to change their gender. That wasn't happening five years ago. Yeah. This has really, really increased over a few years. I think all of us can identify with what Wes Streeting is saying there, which is, in the beginning, we were trying to be super, super sensitive and say, OK, if you want to dress as another gender, I accept you as that gender. We want to treat people's sensitivity. But we're in a really different place now with mm. thousands of children a year being administered puberty-blocking treatment, having gender mutil... Well, I call it child abuse, child yeah, well, mutilation yeah. surgery. I mean... So we have moved on massively, and, and it's why yeah. that that debate should evolve. I mean, I disagree with James. I don't think they are separate issues. I think they're linked issues, and I think uh, what the CAS report exposes is a one-way street. The massive amount of teenage girls who suddenly started going to the Tavisot Clinic, all of them were accepted. None of their thinking was questioned. Mm -hmm. wasn't looked at holistically about what might be triggering them to say that they were gender dysmorphic, translates into the kind of trans absolutism, which says that the minute a man says, I am a woman, 
That's he it. has all the rights yeah. of yeah, a woman, see, including that, Khabib, see, and, and, and closed down any debate. And it was the bravery of people at the Tavistock calling this out, people like Anna Hutchinson, and the bravery of people like J.K. Rowling calling it out, who deserve no, 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 the but you, I'm sorry. And I think West Streeting, who I like and admire, you've, you've needs got... to reflect, uh, particularly the way uh, a lot of people in the Labour Party, particularly women, who yeah, wanted this got debate... To, you've got to step back from that, because nuanced. I'm sorry, I think you're, you're conflating two important things. So I'm one not, thing, I'm well, I think that, well, let me explain. So, on one sense, I agree with you. The Tavistock Clinic, all of that, how that was operating, I think, is very damaging and causing deep and significant problems. However, if you take that view that somebody can't transition, and it, we've got to have the conversation in society, at what stage do you refer to somebody into the sex that they are becoming? Otherwise, you are going to discriminate against them once they've made that decision. That's and right. once they're going through the process, that's really hard. And, and, and that's the, the difficulty that we... absolutely say, the minute we... they say... I am a different sex. You accept it. You that do is not, not operate and mutilate their bodies. I think we could. I think we could. But you're have, you're, you're well, talking about children there, and yeah. and Young and the thing. Uh, what I admire, which I think was what JJ was saying, is anybody, a particularly politician, being able to say, "Yes, I was wrong." It's Absolutely. so rare to hear oh, that. I'm right. learning. He's learning and, that, and, and he's that, changing. And that and was refreshing. Because... And I think it's a little bit mealy mouth. I know that Julie Bendel and Rosie Duffield and J.K. Rowling have all suffered hugely. Yes, they have. Um, but I do think they could have found it in their heart to say, good, well done, where's streeting, yeah, rather yeah, than continuing to bash him, because then nobody will accept that they were ever wrong in the but past. That's